From the Oklahoma Newsroom, it's time for Orange Alert, our weekly extended look at Oklahoma State football. I'm Jenny Carlson here in studio with fellow columnist Barry Trammell. And Barry, the Cowboys got themselves bowl eligible last week in a big win against West Virginia. Now they head on the road to play TCU and look to improve that record, maybe improve that bowl standing. But if they're going to do that, probably going to have to lean a little bit on Taylor Cornelius, which when you look at heading into the final game of the regular season, if you look at the trajectory of this year for him, it's been up and down. It's been all over the place. But he's riding a high after these last two games. Yeah, I mean, look how he's played in Bedlam, how he played against West Virginia. Now he had a couple of throws in against the Sooners, a couple of throws against the Mountaineers he wants back. But for all intents and purposes, he's really produced. And look what he's done in crunch time uh, in Bedlam, down seven. In the last couple of minutes, he takes the Cowboys all the way down to a, to a uh, touchdown within a point. Misfires on the two-point conversion, bad throw, no doubt about it, but uh, really clutch ball. West Virginia on uh, Saturday night, same thing. They're down 10 in the fourth quarter, three possessions in a row. Bang, 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 touchdown, 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 including the game-winning drive in the last two minutes. Uh, just a bunch of clutch football being played by Taylor Cornelius. Yeah, and you, you know, you think about the fact that this guy hadn't started, hadn't played much at all before this year he's really learned as he's gone and you know Mike Gundy talked before the season obviously everybody knows uh, you know thought Taylor Cornelius could be a good quarterback for them he's had his struggles but Barry when you think about it I mean this is kind of what you would expect if a guy was was learning it's just this is it and so there's it's, it's obviously a weird dichotomy for Taylor Cornelius and yet to have beaten Texas to have beaten West Virginia to have nearly upended the Sooners I mean that's not a bad one-year run right there. No, he's had, a, he's had a wonderful year. Now, Kansas State played terrible. They got, they got blown out, um, made some mistakes against Baylor, should have won. So there's, there's things you can pick out. But to play well in the big games, they played four ranked teams. They've got Boise, Texas, West Virginia, and the Sooners. They're 3-1 and one against those teams and a missed two-point conversion away from perhaps beating the fourth. So um, he's produced – He's been as good as you could have hoped for, really. Uh, the standard of quarterbacking in Stillwater has been set high. Uh, Zach Robinson, Brandon Whedon, Mason Rudolph, those guys have quarterbacked, what, uh, eight of the last uh, 12, 11 or 12 seasons of OSU football. So Cowboys are used to quality quarterbacking, so the bar is high for Taylor Cornelius. He's not as good as those three guys, but he's been a very effective player. For OSU. What's the challenge on Saturday as OSU heads to TCU? Gary Patterson's squad's always known for great defense. This team is uh, TCU team is not yet bowl eligible, so not necessarily to the standard that most TCU teams have shown. But what's the challenge on Saturday for Cornelius and that offense as they head to Fort Worth? Well, TCU might be the best defense in the Big 12. Um, they really play solid defense. And you're not going to be able to move the ball up and down like you have against the Sooners and the Mountaineers. Uh, the Frogs will, will get in your way. So don't count on, you know, they, what, they get 47 against Oklahoma and 45 on West Virginia. Don't count on trying to get, or uh, if you need 40 to win uh, against TC, you're going to be, TCU, you're going to be in trouble. But, um, but I think they should be able to, uh, they've got too many weapons, even if Justice Hill doesn't play. Chuba Hubbard is turning into a big-time playmaker. Tylen Wallace, a Belitno Cough Award finalist. Tyron Johnson's really playing well. Mike Yersich's scheme is really coming through, using a lot of different guys. Cornelius in the run game as well as in the throw. So I think the Cowboys are going to be able to score on TCU, uh, certainly into the high 20s, perhaps into the 30s. And if they do, they're going to have a really good chance to win. Well, and I'll say this. Tylen Wallace, to me, is the best wide receiver in the country. I don't think there's any question he's the Blitnikoff winner um, in my mind. And at the beginning of the season, I didn't know if he was their best wide receiver. Midway through, I mean, I, I guess I thought he was their best receiver. I didn't think he was this good, though, Barry. He, he, uh, when you talk about big moments, he's a big moment guy. He is, and he's been super on the deep balls. You know, Cornelius does not throw a great deep pass. He usually underthrows. Um, think of all the times Mason Rudolph hit James Washington deep, and Washington would run under it, and sometimes he was covered and jump up for it, but Wallace is having to go back for a lot of deep balls and still getting them in traffic. Uh, he's making good catches. 
uh, in, in traffic inside. You know, the game-winning touchdown against West Virginia. It's a nice slant. He's hit about the six or seven-yard line. He carries uh, the, the West Virginia cornerback into the end zone for the touchdown. So, um, yeah, he's, he's been phenomenal. Uh, I don't know if he'll win the Bolitnikoff. He has a chance to. He might do it. It'll be a phenomenal success for OSU's legacy of wide receivers. But, uh, you know, for a young player, he's, uh, he's, been, he's been phenomenal, and he's going to get even better. When you talk about TCU's defense and how good they are, um, this is a TCU team that overall – has had a lot of injury problems. Quarterback maybe prime among them, you know, where at Oklahoma State it's been the Taylor Cornelius show. TCU's been all over the board. They're on quarterback number three now, Barry. Yeah, Sean Robinson was, you know, had his moments, then he gets hurt. Michael Collins comes on, showed some promise. Now he's gone. They're down to their number three guy, Mulestein. Um, you know, it doesn't bode well for the Frogs. They're not that good on offense to start with. Um, and now when, when you go down to a number three quarterback, this is a game where the OSU defense should assert itself. Um, this is a game where people like Rodarius Williams and Adri, A.J. Green every week on, when we talk about the Cowboys in midweek, we say, well, on Saturday, those guys are going to be on the, uh, you know, sort of uh, on, in the spotlight under the gun. Not this week because the TCU passing game is not that sophisticated. If the Cowboys can sort of slow down the run game, I think they're going to be in really good position. This is a game where the OSU defense should shine and give that offense a chance to just score on a consistent basis, not necessarily explosion, but a consistent basis, and control the game. You know, that OSU defense against those better teams, sort of like Corndog, they've been at their best, it seems, against the better teams. You know, the la they, they go against Baylor a few weeks ago, just a mess, penalties, not discipline. Uh, TCU, not nearly the challenge of the Oklahoma offense, the West Virginia offense. Is this as much maybe a mental challenge to not have that kind of letdown that they've maybe had against lesser opponents and to really go out there and attack against that TCU offense? It is, because in the Big 12, think about it. Every week you're getting assaulted by some elite offense, whether it's Will Greer or Kyler Murray or, or Charlie Brewer or Sam Ellinger, uh, you know, uh, Brock Purdy. The, the Cowboys launched his career at, <laughs> for Iowa State. But uh, – you know, when you, when you, Alan Bowman at Tech was phenomenal, he, sort of his coming out party uh, in Stillwater. But against TCU, that's not going to happen. You're not playing against an NFL type quarterback. You're not playing against a, uh, a fast paced offense that's going to light you up for 35 points and a half. It's just natural to think, finally, we've got a, you know, we got a week at the beach. Well, then things <laughs> can happen and you got some problems. So Cowboys need to stay on point and, uh, and focus in and realize this is a chance for us to dominate, but only if we prepare well and practice well and then play well. I suddenly realize this OSU defense does to little-known quarterbacks what the Thunder sometimes does to people's career scoring. They, yeah. they allow the unexpected to, to go for 40 points. So uh, that can happen. They need to guard against that because, Barry, like I said at the outset, this, this Cowboy team now six wins, now bowl eligible. They're going to a bowl, but get to seven, and you could see – the potential of where you're going improved pretty substantially, I think. Yeah, you know, the Houston Bowl, uh, they had a rep there, and he spoke up at the press conference Saturday night. Said, hey, we basically said, we want OSU down there. I'm going to politic for you. I don't know if this guy's got any status or not. But uh, you win, and you're clearly the number five team in the bowl pegging order. So, um, you know, that might end, you might end up at the Liberty Bowl. You could get to the Houston Bowl. Um, just depends. But, uh, you know, if, if you lose, you're down there with the great unwashed, could end up anywhere, <laughs> um, including the Armed Forces Bowl back in Fort Worth. But you win, and you've set yourself up as clearly the number five team in the Big 12 bowl pecking order, and that's not a bad place to be. Just to remind people, just because you're in a certain spot uh, doesn't mean you slot into that, that spot. The bowls essentially after, you know, the college football playoff committee, they slot them then the Bulls can pick whoever they want. If they like that team that's sitting there in eighth in their matchup, they can pick them. But a bowl like the Houston Bowl could set up to some pretty good matchups, Barry. Yeah, it's big against the SEC. Could be a uh, Mississippi State. Could be a uh, Texas A&M. Could be even a Kentucky, I suppose. So, I mean, a lot of, a lot of interesting matchups, Auburn even. So um, that would be a good one. And remember the bowl pegging order goes Sugar, Alamo, Camping World, where the Cowboys were a year ago, 
Uh, fourth is the Texas Bowl in Houston. Fifth is the Liberty Bowl. So it seems like the Cowboys win. The worst they could do is the Liberty Bowl against uh, another SEC team. Perhaps uh, somebody like Missouri would be a good candidate for the Liberty Bowl. Yeah, interesting matchups all the way around. We'll know a lot more probably after uh, this week. Well, actually, actually, the, the Big 12 game and the championship games when we when we know uh, who's who's slotting in those uh, playoff spots uh, more closely. All right, let's get to picks. Uh, you and I both have the Cowboys winning, and I've got a closer game than you do. You've got practically a, a you got a blowout, Barry. I got to thinking about it. I think Cowboys will be ready to play. You never know what you're going to get. Part of the theme last week was that. You know, Cowboys get up for the big games. Boise State, Texas, OU, West Virginia. They did again last week. They followed that. Some of the lesser games, Baylor, TCU, uh, really haven't. I mean, the Baylor, um, uh, Kansas State, mm -hmm. really didn't get up for. I tend to think maybe it's finally going to come together and they're going to play really well. TCU's beat up. Some on defense, a bunch on offense. Oklahoma State's the better team, and I think it might be time for a Cowboy blowout. I got a big – I think I said 41-10. Yeah, yeah, you did. And I went a little bit closer. I went uh, I went Cowboys 37-31. Uh, I've seen those on-the-road struggles. I saw Baylor. I saw K-State. I'm just – I'm going with a close game. I, they are better, and I think TCU's uh, injury problems will give OSU the advantage. I think they get to seven wins, but I think it'll be closer. But, again, a, a, a good test to see if the Cowboys can take the positive momentum of the last few weeks and carry it in and win like they're supposed to against a lesser opponent on the road. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoman.